Thank you, sir. The judiciary in India, one of the pillars of our democratic framework. From the Supreme Court at the apex to the lower courts operating throughout India, each institution is responsible for upholding, for upholding the liberty of citizens and justice. However, the efficiency of the judiciary needs to be improved. Lengthy delays in delivery of justice compromise the process itself. Over 25% of under trial prisoners have been in custody for more than one year. Data also suggests that the criminal justice system tends to be biased against people from marginal, marginalized section of the society. Sir, a recent study submitted by IIM Kolkata to the Ministry of Law and Justice has highlighted the chronic issues faced by, faced by lower courts. Problems include vacancies or absence of judges, purposeful extension of cases for personal motives, and lack of adequate technology. Studies show that the average pendency of cases in Indian subordinate courts is around five years. Around 23% of sanctioned posts of judges are lying vacant. And regarding high courts, I will, I will only say that 420 or 421 posts of judges are vacant. Sir, 421 judges are vacant in the high courts. And uh, regarding Kolkata High Court, vacancy is of 32 judges. Read only approved taxes. Text. Read only approved text. Uh -huh. It is extremely urgent that reforms are introduced to increase efficiency of the judiciary digitalization, the judiciary, digitization of legal process, online filing and tracking of cases and reducing lengthy adjournment prayers are important steps in the right direction. Efforts must be made to to fill the vacancies in courts across the country. As a last year I'll say, justice delayed is justice denied.